Everyone, welcome back to the launch pad. Well, after years of rumors, we now have confirmation from both Roscosmos and the Russian government that they are working on a new Russian space station, or what they like to call orbital spaceport. Let me introduce you to the Russian Orbital Service Station, or ROS, the next stage of Russia's space activities. ROS will be a spaceport for small spacecraft and will have no permanent crew, but will be visited by cosmonauts on a rotational basis. The new station is being planned with something very different from the ISS. ROS will be what they are calling a cloud station, where the station will have its main core structure, but will also have a fully autonomous module flying around it, which will periodically approach and dock with the station for maintenance. ROS will soon enter the preliminary design phase, where Roscosmos will also confirm the station's orbit and inclination, but currently they are targeting 51.6 degrees, or 97 to 98 degrees. Roscosmos has said that ROS is a creatively rethought and technically more perfect return to the idea of Mir 2. Mir 2 was assumed to be also placed in a high altitude orbit, giving Russia the ability to observe their northern Russian territory as well as economic points of interest in the Arctic. At the end of July, the Scientific and Technical Council of Roscosmos proposed the creation of the new station and presented two station options. Their first option was a station that could use retrofitted Russian segments from the ISS with the nodal and scientific power modules following the completion of the ISS's mission. Those two modules, together with a new multifunctional laboratory module or science module, would form the core of the new station, which in the future could be overgrown with other compartments. The second option was proposed many years ago, but was raised as an idea again last year. The creation of a station in high-altitude orbit with an orbital inclination of 97 degrees to the equator. The station's solar panels will always be illuminated. This orbit will allow the crew to see the Arctic every hour and a half and anywhere on the planet once every two days. The option planned to equip part of the station facing the Earth with observation systems in various spectra, from optical to radar, and the opposite side, with equipment for monitoring outer space. This second station proposal would see that the station was created in two stages. The first stage would be built from 2025 to 2030, and would include the scientific, energy, nodal, base, and gateway modules. During the second phase of station development from 2030 to 2035, they would add on target and target production modules as well as a platform for servicing spacecraft. This proposed station will not be permanently inhabited, but will be visited by crews of two to four people. The station would be launched from both Baikonur and the Voschotchny Cosmodromes. The first stage of development would use the Progress cargo ships and manned Soyuz ships, and during the second phase they would use their new ship, Eagles. So given that info, it's clear that they went with the second proposal, and we actually know a fair amount about the new Ross Space Station. That's all for this news update, but here at the Launchpad, it's our mission to inform and inspire the explorers of tomorrow, and we invite you to join our crew. So engage that subscribe button. We really do believe space is better together. And take a moment and let us know in the comments what you think about Ross. This is Zach, signing off.